The closed math formula questions allow students to enter math equations in empty response boxes, which can appear in the middle of text. This is very similar to math formula, but closed math is more flexible when it comes to creating more complex templates and adding text around math. In this video, we're going to cover these differences and author a class math question. So let's start with the stimulus. We type the task for the student here. And below we have the template area. As opposed to math formula template markup area, this field is used to add text and response boxes. And we generally recommend using closed math question type when your questions contain text wrapping math content. So here we type some additional text, and with double curly brackets and response, we indicate the position of the response boxes here. Or you can use the Insert Response button in the Rich Text Editor panel. These response boxes themselves work as container, which means they can support multiple response boxes within themselves, allowing for more complex syntax. This is another difference from a math formula question. So now we have some text and two response boxes. But we want these two response boxes to hold separate math expressions. How do we do this? We need to go under More Options and scroll all the way down to Response Containers Individual. We click on Add twice, because we need two expressions. As I said, the response boxes work as containers, and here they are called Container 1 and Container 2. The template field here works with raw LaTeX only. So we can create our first expression. See now we have created one expression with a response box from the container 1. Now we do the same in container 2. Now we have two different math expressions with two different correct responses. Let's set these responses. We scroll back up to the scoring section. In here, because we have two containers, we see equation value 1 and equation value 2. So what does it mean? It means that we set up the correct response for each equation separately. Let's open equation value 1. Here only the first equation is considered. The correct response is 5, but we can just enter 5. Because we have added a template to our container, we need to copy everything that's added in the template here in the value field. It's not the text here, but the equation syntax from the template area. OK, let's do it. And we do the same with equation value g. Copy the syntax and add the correct response. Great, now let's check our responses in preview. 